this is Chiron Intuition and I'm here to do a reading for the collective. It's not going to resonate with everyone, but if it does, take what goes and please leave what does not. Now I do have a message before, I mean, yeah, before I start laying cards, I try to do a video be right before this one. Okay, but everything went wrong. Okay, everything, anything you can think of in this reading, it only lasted about three minutes before everything like went to hell. I mean, things was falling, things was going everywhere. Okay, so I was like, okay, but I got a message out of that short reading. Okay, somebody's gonna have the protection of the earth. Okay, or somebody is gaining the protection of the earth. This is not something easy to do, okay? The earth is its own spirit also, just like the other planets that are out there orbiting the sun, okay? But the earth, there's something specifically related to the earth and nature spirits that has to do with somebody during this full moon that's coming up, okay? focus at the bottom here it says relief like someone is being relieved of something somebody is ending something somebody is leaving something behind okay looks like also a crossroads okay giving me a, a legua energy also this bow and arrow is giving me ochosi it's like, it really looks like there is a target here. Like if you want to be relieved, if you want to be in a better position, you have to focus on this target. You see how the arrow is pointing at this target. You have to focus on a target. You have to, you have to create a focus. Like it can't just be everywhere. Something can't be everywhere. Okay. It has to be very focused here. If you want to be relieved of something because this card says relief number 12 can be significant number 24 can be significant which is 12 times 2 number 3 can be significant number 6 can be significant there is something when it comes to double okay it's something here that has to do with doubles maybe twins okay but not even so much twins i'm getting doubles okay like getting two times something, getting double something, receiving double. Maybe it, it's not gonna be identical if you know what I'm saying, but you're receiving double of something. I don't know what that is. We have the ninth house here in Aries. This is definitely, I mean, it definitely has to do with something Something like in belief system, in the in the belief system realm, okay? There's something where it's like you're supposed to be at the forefront of a belief or a religion or a tradition. This could also, ninth house is also higher learning. I see Neptune here also. And Neptune brings an element of spirituality. It brings that element of the other side, like the spiritual world. For Neptune to be in the ninth house of Aries, okay? If And I don't even think, where is, where is Neptune now? Neptune is in Pisces right now. I don't think that there is anybody watching my video right now there is nobody watching my video right now that was born when Neptune was in Aries, okay? I believe Neptune is going back into Aries in like 2025 or 2026, one of those. But Neptune has not been in Aries for over 200 years, okay? So there is nobody here that has Neptune in Aries, but it's going into Aries. Aries and that's pro I'm getting chills that's probably why it's significant 
spirit is trying to relay a message to me about when neptune goes into aries you will be relieved of something as long as you focus on it right now this is a for real future ass reading it's for real future because we're in 2023 we're talking about 2025 2026 you have two years y'all what ain't that two years that's two years you got between two and three years i'm gonna say it just like that you got between two and three years probably starting around this new moon that's happening on the, the 22nd of january the one you y'all need to i need to label that joint with your uranus in the title so that people know which one to go to but i talked about uranus like going into i mean i'm sorry i talked about uranus going forward okay during this new moon that's happening on january 22nd and how that's going to be the beginning of like a new life for you but it's only a seed planted so you might not see all of the changes like on the first day and the first month and you know you might not see everything it's finally giving me like a end date an end result like a it's saying right here two to three years you have to focus on whatever this is okay two to three years and that's nothing that's that's a good amount of time to focus on something and to get it right to perfect it okay like if y'all only knew how long it takes to make movies and things like that like when it gets to the consumer it just looks you know it's just in one piece but sometimes it takes 10 years to make a movie five years to make a movie three years to make a movie like that's the that's the reality of it i know a lot of people don't know the magic behind the scenes you know magic behind the pictures and magic behind the video and all that but there's a lot of hard work that goes into what is put out okay so that's a message for somebody that don't get caught up in just the the dream of it don't get caught up in the Oh, I can't wait until my movie come out. Well, first you got to write a script. Then you got to act. Okay. Or then you got to get actors. Then you got to get, you know, it's a lot that goes into what this is. You have the three of swords here. This may have been something... It might be something that you have to leave behind here because the three of sword is usually the energy of like, it's the truth. It might not be, you know, pretty. It might not be what you wanted, but at least it's the truth. And that's the best thing that you can ever ask for. Okay. Somebody might be starting something that they really didn't plan on starting or they didn't plan on going this direction. They didn't plan on taking all of this time to do, to, to create this firm foundation. Like somebody just wanted the dream they didn't think about the foundation but now you actually have to think about it now you have to be like how am i actually like you have to create a bridge like what you want is possible you can get what you want but you have to work your way towards it okay what's at the bottom here we have the six of pentacles here and this is about equal give and take this is about what you put out is what you're going to get back it could be something that you're creating here. I'm getting this energy like I just want to pick somebody up like and just shake them real quick because I see this three of sword. This is bothering me a little bit on top of focus. Somebody's like, oh, man, like I didn't even want to do this, man. I didn't want to go this route. Like I didn't see this as a, you know, as what I'm supposed to do. Like somebody's disappointed when I'm telling you that. This is a doorway for you and you have to work towards this if you want to be relieved. I don't know, maybe relieved from a nine to five, maybe relieved from a living situation, maybe relieved from whatever the hell you're going through. But you got to put work in. People need to get into that. You got to put work in to get something out. Every, most people really think that shit is just going to fall into your lap. Most people think that. And I really don't. It's too much TV. Too much TV, too much looking at, I don't know, videos, YouTube, whatever the case. But in the real world, people work. People work for what they want. They work towards a goal. 
I'm not saying that everybody can do it at the same time because everybody's at different places in their path as far as like paying back debt, paying back spiritual debt, okay? Those kind of things need to be done. So there are people that feel like they're in a hard position and they're struggling. It's because your your debt has to be paid before you can move forward into this energy. So basically I'm reading for somebody that has paid a spiritual debt. Things have been balanced, okay? And it's time to focus on something. Maybe you didn't think that you would have to focus on this, but it's a gift that you were given, okay? So you gotta use that shit. You get what I'm saying? You gotta use it until you can't use it no more. You gotta ride it until the wheels fall off. Okay, it's what I'm seeing. You know, I don't want to see this kind of energy. I don't want to. Uh, uh. I can't. I can't talk to somebody, and they're like, "Ah, oh, well, you know, like I want to have my dreams happen, but uh, I didn't. I didn't think I had to do this. I'm not even trying to hear it. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Because in the real world, hey, you can waste your time with those emotions and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, if you want to get somewhere. You got to do something. You got to focus on something. Okay. Even if it's not exactly what you want to do, if you're good at it, do it until you can get to the next level. Okay. You're always equipped. Look at this. Ten of sword here. Ten of sword. Something is something here that has to end. Somebody did not anticipate on this ending. Somebody did not want this to end. Okay. I see more so what this reading is about is like pushing somebody on the road. Because somebody is holding on to the past or somebody. Somebody is aware that some shit has ended. Like somebody knows the truth about something or somebody has all of the information now. Okay. All of the information has been communicated here. And it's just like. If somebody feels like the wind has been knocked out of them, like, damn, like, I didn't plan on doing this. I didn't plan on going this direction. I didn't plan on, you know, having to invest this, this energy into this. But that's what you got to do to get where you're trying to go. You got the nine of wands here. The nine of wands here. This is for somebody's protection. This is what is making somebody stronger. Like somebody thought that something was the end all be all and then a new doorway opened up and you're like, damn, like I didn't, I thought I was at my destination. I No, you were not at your destination. That was only preparing you for the next level. Okay. Somebody, I guess more so what this is, is somebody is exhausted. Like somebody feels exhausted with having to, I don't know if this is starting over. I don't know if this is like getting a new focus or focusing on something new but this bow and arrow is is facing this this cross okay and remember when i said something about double or something about twins it could be gemini energy also we got the ace of wands here that means 10 is 10 wands here so you got the 10 of sword and then you have 10 wands here this is somebody that's stepping into their power, stepping into some type of responsibility. And maybe that's what they didn't anticipate. Like they didn't anticipate actually exerting their energy and moving their energy. Okay. Maybe some, they, they planned on something coming easier. Okay. Somebody is going to, <sighs> this is not going to be good for somebody if you don't start moving if you don't start working on something because in two three years the doorway will be like closed i'm not saying that you have two or three years to get it that's not what i'm saying i'm saying that in two or three years it will be too late it will be too late okay you want to be you want to work with the transits of astrology you want to work with the planets you don't want the you don't want to work against them because you can't control the planets the planet's going to move okay but you need to work with it and right now this is what this reading is for i'm letting you know the placements i'm letting you know where things are going to end up in about two three years if you start now if you get it in your mind now 
that you have to leave something behind, that you have to focus on something different. It's not to say that you can't have what you want, but it's not time yet. It's not time to have it in your hands. Okay, what's at the bottom here? You got the Knight of Cups here. Either this is some type of proposal that's going to come from this. Like maybe you're preparing something, maybe you're going to create something, maybe you're going to work on something, you're going to build something, and your opportunity is going to come in two or three years. I don't know exactly, y'all got to look up when Neptune goes into Aries, because actually I think it goes into Aries and then it retrogrades back out of Aries and then it goes back into Aries. Okay, so it goes forward into Aries, then it goes backwards, back into Pisces, and then it goes back into Aries. Okay, I don't know how many times it's going to do that before it actually stays in Aries, but when I tell you, when Neptune stays in Aries, like when it's the last time that it has to come into this sign, that's when you will be more solidified. That's when whatever it is that you was focused on is going to become realized. Neptune is about the other world. You see, you got Neptune right here. Neptune is about the other world, okay? But you want to make things real from that world. You want to bring in what it is that you feel, who it is that you feel you are, what it is that you feel you bring to the world. You have to manifest this in this world. Yes, it is already manifest in the spiritual world. That's the only way you can bring it into this world. Okay? And you have to build this identity. You have to focus on this identity or it will remain in your mind. It will remain in your head. And it can't remain in your head when Neptune goes into Aries. Okay? Because it will be time to, like, Aries is about action. Okay, it's about making things happen. It's the card, it's the first sign, but it's like the cardinal sign. Okay. Ace of Wands again. Ace of Wands again. You got the Ace of Wands right here. You got the Ace of Wands right here on top of the Ten of Swords. Okay. This was a blessing in disguise. Whatever this that ended or whatever communication, whatever information that you got, okay, whatever it was, it is the doorway. It is the key. It is the key. It starts here. It ends with the same, you got a whole nother doorway, okay? But it has to start here. And maybe that's why somebody has this three of swords. Maybe that's why somebody is looking discouraged. Maybe that's why somebody is, you know, with their head down and they're like, damn, like, if this is what I got to do. Yeah, that's that. I mean, that that attitude is a lot better. OK, if this is what I got to do, then I got to do what I got to do. That's how you really need to look at it. You don't have to rush nothing, but you do have to have determination. You have to be persistent. You have to be consistent. OK. That's anybody that wants to do something. Anybody that wants to build something, anybody that wants to bring something to this world, anybody that wants to be somebody, you need to put that work in. You need to focus on something. You need to learn your craft so that you can get your worth. Your worth is on the inside, okay? It has to start from the inside and then it's going to come from the outside. And that's what I mean when I say when Neptune goes into Aries, like there will be no more time shit is about to be created shit is about to be brought into this world things are about to be manifested you got the hierophant here see that's very very interesting i'm gonna let somebody know right now you do not have an easy road you do not have an easy road because much is expected of you the hierophant is coming out on the nine of wands this is a powerful person of god this is a powerful person of spirit this is somebody that will be looked up to. This was somebody. This is somebody that will have a following, okay? I don't know if you wanna call them fans. I don't know if you wanna call them clients, customers, whatever the case may be. Somebody here will, like, will be somebody official. You will be somebody that has power, holds power. You will be somebody that people know your name. Okay, what is this? We have the Page of Pentacles here. 
new opportunity okay new opportunity to manifest new opportunities coming in and you see it started with this same ace of wands here and this ace of wands it was the beginning of a door for you it was the beginning of your purpose your passion okay and you have to go through some things in order to be who you are in order to become who you are in order to learn certain lessons in order to teach others that's what the hierophant is they are a teacher they could be a preacher too whatever you want to call it but they are a teacher they're somebody that has lived it and is giving back giving the information they have the keys okay i'm telling you it's, it's going to come through but somebody i also feel that somebody needs to mature and this this time that you have to do that is is going to be good for you okay what's at the bottom here another nine of wands here oh look how that slid out and then you got the two of wands here i feel like somebody has to do something that they probably did not want to do they probably did not imagine themselves doing this but it's going to get you to the next doorway it's as if like there's a bridge that needs to be created somebody needs to mature they need to focus on this thing they need to do a lot of things and then an opportunity is going to come a proposal is going to come and it's going to release you it's going to release you okay let me get a angel message here joy and contentment somebody you need to pick pick it up pick your face up it says listen deeply here okay things do not come like as quick as you want them to come you have to find joy in what you're doing right now you have to find joy in the mission you have to believe that what you're doing and the energy that you're putting into something you're going to get it back you're going to receive it back but you got to put the energy in first you have to put it out there first once you do it the universe can respond okay i'm going to leave it right here if you like the way that i read please like share and subscribe thank you so much for your like shares and subscribes i really really appreciate it because it is how we get the messages out in order to elevate the collective i love you guys and i'll be back with another reading later Bye.